And one of the key terms there is making a difference. Mm -hmm. And they certainly do make a difference. Uh, <coughs> Diana O'Toole joins us now. She's the executive director of the Boston Center for Pregnancy Choices, which I feel is misunderstood in many, many ways. And we're going to find out what they do and why they are so important in a world that sometimes forgets the dignity of all people. Diane, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, so first off, tell us about what the Pregnancy Care Alliance Coalition is. So the Pregnancy Care Alliance Coalition is a group of pregnancy resource centers that, you know, we used to be operating just doing good work in little silos, right, mm -hmm. around uh, the state and around the country. And because we were under such attack and there was so much information, misinformation about us in the press and um, from government officials that we, we um, just banded together and formed the Pregnancy Care Alliance. Um, and m m the Boston Center for Pregnancy Choices was formed by a handful of women that, you know, after abortion was legal in this state, they noticed that abortion facilities were popping up all over, but there weren't facilities that were there to help women to walk alongside them and love them and provide them with parenting classes and emotional as well as material resources. So that's how we were formed and that's how many other pregnancy resource centers were formed. So what kind of services does a pregnancy resource center offer for women and their families? So um, we're actually very different. Some just provide material resources, they give out diapers and wipes and clothing. Um, others, such as the Boston Center, we provide free pregnancy tests, we provide options counseling, um, mother and father training programs, um, mentoring programs, as well as we have a baby boutique for resources, um, as well as strollers and diapers. And then other pregnancy resource centers, we give free ultrasound referrals, but others um, have medical staff w who are certified, fully trained, and um, also pr provide ultrasounds on site, free pregnancy tests, as well as STD testing. Um, we give out um, uh, maternity vitamins, <laughs> and wow. so do many do others. And, and we actually calculated how some of us, our services, it's in the multi-million dollars that, that we give free services to the uh, community in Massachusetts that we serve. And we want the truth to get out about all of the good work that we do. And so people know that we are professional. We do not give out misinformation. We do not um, allow for anybody's information if they come through the doors to be somehow um, just used against them. Yeah, and, and we, we are HIPAA compliant. Mm -hmm. We do have trained medical staff, those of us that are medical facilities. Mm -hmm. So, Boy, how terrible is, are you guys, right? You just want to help a woman through her journey <laughs> yeah. uh, and to bring a beautiful baby to fruition. Um, and, and I just think it is wonderful what you're doing. And yet, as we sit here and we talk about how important this is and the great services that you have, there are groups that are attacking you. And I'm not sure why, because what yeah. you're doing is, is not only is it important, it's a wonderful thing. A baby is a great thing. A blessing. It's a blessing. And, and actually, that's why I'm on this show, is to, to help get the truth out, because unfortunately, there's too much information about all the good that we do. <coughs> and therefore, this misinformation actually has people attacking our centers. There have been centers in Massachusetts. Ours was one that was protested. It was vandalized. <coughs> um, and there are others that have been vandalized across the state, which is just a sad state of yeah, events. Don't hear about that one that much, though. Mm. Can you tell us about the petition that's going around to actually protect pregnancy resource centers? Yeah, so that's one of the initiatives of the Pregnancy Care Alliance is to establish a petition to have people sign 
and they can go to our website and find it and sign it, that they support the work that we do. Because we, we are 100% supported by our individual private donors as well as our supporting churches. We do not receive any government or federal money for the work that we do. We, we are faith-based organizations predominantly, and we just strive to serve and help the community. I, I often say we offer hope, help, and healing um, because one of the other things that a lot of the pregnancy resource centers do that people don't understand is we provide after abortion healing counseling. Oh, okay. So I, I often say we deal with the fallout mm -hmm. because it is traumatizing to have an abortion. It is not um, empowering. It's, it's we offer empowering to our um, mothers that come through the door to help them walk along, on, alongside them, love them, and provide emotional support as well as financial resources. And they're telling me we have a minute left, but I'm gonna get this story in because <laughs> you actually have a story yourself about your daughter. I do. So um, I was actually flying from London to Boston and my water broke on the airplane. Oh they diverted the plane to Newfoundland, Canada, which is like the Alaska of mm -hmm. the Northeast. My daughter was born there, 26 weeks gestation, one pound, 13 ounces. Wow. And she is a beautiful woman today and just had my first grandbaby, Reagan Rose, shout out to you. Congratulations. That's awesome, <laughs> um, that's great. And it just horrifies me that in this state, you can receive an abortion on demand up until 24 weeks gestation. And that is, uh, and they actually want to expand those laws. And, and that horrifies me because- Yet they diverted a plane to save your daughter, one child, yeah. right? and, which is and, the right thing. And that's because she was wanted. Mm. Are you a baby only if you're wanted and not if you're unwanted? You're a baby either way. Well said. And where can people find out more about your great work? So if they go to uh, PregnancyCareAlliance.com, um, you can actually find the different um, groups that are members of the Pregnancy Care Alliance by putting in your zip code, the one nearest you. And then you can contact us if, you're, if you want to support us, if you want to volunteer, um, and, and also if you want to sign that petition. Diane, it's been a pleasure. Please keep up the good work you do because it's very, very important. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Diane.